Check it out, y'all. This is what my farmer's market buys for $32 bought me today. Home pick bay leaves, peanuts, pecans, zucchini, pickling cucumbers, squash. Look at those beautiful small okra, the kind you want. Fresh picked peas, mm -hmm. eggplant, mm -hmm. fine ripe tomatoes, mm -hmm. that nectarines, no. peaches. peaches, yeah, peaches, and the sweetest blueberries that we just tasted, yeah. and some cantaloupes. Thank you. Farmers Market, Biloxi, underneath Thank the Hopkins you. overpass. Thank y'all, ladies. Look at the size, and you can smell these peppers. They are wonderful. Look at those beautiful jalapenos, purple onions, banana peppers, and look at the size of these beautiful bells, y'all. Two for a dollar. The beautiful color on them tomatoes, and that peaches and cream corn, and eggplant. Y'all come down and see these folks. Tomato sandwich with basically just mayo, pepper, and salt. And some nice soft bread. Yum, y'all. So I picked and strung the beans. And when I parboiled them, they all turned green. I call them magic beans. Pretty neat, huh? I add just enough liquid to cover the top of the beans, and then cover and simmer. Chicken tenderloins aren't from the farmer's market, but they sure are going to be good with these green beans. Quality control, y'all! Normally, I would put these green beans in a big bowl so that I could soak up that juice with my bread. But today, we're having it with these panko and parm-crusted chicken tenderloins. So we're plating it up. Yum. Crispy on the outside. So juicy and tender on the inside. And some nice buttery French bread. I sliced a few of the eggplant in half, and then I left a couple to slice in thin slices. You're going to salt them all and let them sit for 20 minutes, and then rub it off with a paper towel to get all the moisture and salt off. I made a mixture of butter, olive oil, garlic, and lemon juice to brush over the tops of all of the eggplants and then dredge the slices through a little panko and cracker crumbs before baking. I seasoned up some fresh gulf shrimp and then threw them in the iron skillet and then added the red pepper alfredo to heat through before adding it to the top of the eggplant halves. Then I covered the top with some provolone and mozzarella drizzled the sauce back over the top and baked it in the oven until bubbly and warm through. Add the breaded slices of eggplant to the top. Sprinkle some grated Parmesan and then also throw on a little bit of that mozzarella and provolone. 
Once all the cheese was added to the top, I turned my oven from 400 to 365, and I popped it back in the oven just until everything was melted and it got a slight little crust on top. It's so stringy and cheesy. Look at that, y'all. It is delicious. And now for that peaches and cream corn on the cob. I'm browning up about three tablespoons of butter. And then I'm going to add the corn that I have let sit overnight with a teaspoon of sugar sprinkled over the top. I'm adding just a little bit of water to create some moisture before covering and simmering. Simmer just until the water is gone. You want the corn to retain that fresh bite. After cooked, this is when I'm going to add a little bit of fresh butter to the top along with the salt. Oh my gosh, it smells so delicious. I could eat this whole pan. Y'all, this was definitely a winner, and we will be making this again very soon. And that's how I used this week's vegetables from the farmer's market. Stay tuned for a bread and butter pickle recipe from my mom's old cookbooks. Creamed honey is made by spinning the honey. I'm having some on some French bread with peanut butter. Mmm. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Mm.